A woman named Rose Corley is shown with an oxygen mask on her face and a voiceover introducing her as an incomplete human. Then, we are told there was an alien invasion on Earth. The alien harvested the mind of Rose's father, and she was adopted by a man who lost his son. She was an unusual human being who grew very fast. A blood transfusion helped her grow slow down. In the next 10 years, Rose led the fleet of human spaceships against the fleet of alien spaceships. The aliens were called Harvesters. The Harvesters have blue eyes, and their basic biology is to attack humans. The Harvesters were on the mother ship, Armada. After the enemy lines were broken, Rose froze before she could fire, and one of her ships got destroyed. As the Armada got ready to attack Earth, Rose had to destroy one of her own ships that got caught in the crossfire. This caused the death of thousands of humans, but she was able to destroy the Armada. After the fight, Rose disappeared out of sorrow, and for the next five years, humanity rebuilt itself with the help of billions of freed alien-human hybrids known as pilots. These pilots have red eyes and coexist peacefully with humans. Then, the scene changes to the present world showing an older man named Grant narrating Rose's story to a group of younger individuals. A man named Leon approaches the group, searching for Rose Corley. Leon asks Grant and a girl named Kate about Rose, but they tell him they have not seen her. At this, Leon tells them there is a considerable reward out for anyone who finds Rose. Then, we see Rose sitting not far from Grant, hiding her face in a hood. She leaves the place and rushes towards her tent. Rose lives in a tent city near London, and she later goes to Dr. Mao's hospital for a blood transfusion. She uses hyper-oxygenated blood transfusion to reduce the aging effect of her hybrid nature. We see one of her hands aging faster than the rest of her body. She also finds out from Dr. Mal that there is a virus spreading among the pilots and humans with pilot prosthetics, which is eating them alive. Later, Leon and his forces track Rose to Dr. Mal's hospital to arrest her, and she tries to resist them by fighting back, but they get the upper hand, leading to her eventual arrest. Rose is then taken to the army headquarters, where she sees General Radford, who tells her about the prevailing virus that is very difficult to control. He tells her the freed alien-human hybrids, also known as pilots, are dying, and he further tells her the virus spreading will make pilots go back to their basic biology, causing them to start hunting humans again. The only way to prevent all of that from happening is to obtain Armada's core drive from the alien planet, Cobalt-1. With the help of this core drive, the biology of any pilot can be restored, making all humans and hybrids coexist peacefully for the next 100 years. At this, Rose tells him she had already destroyed the Armada ship five years ago, so there's no chance of any core drive surviving the destruction. But General Radford tells her that the core drive got warped to the Harvester's planet called Cobalt-1, before the destruction of the Armada ship. Now, their mission is to get the core drive from the alien planet. Rose agrees to be a part of the mission, and General Radford introduces her to the team he has assembled to accompany her. The first team member is Leon, who specializes in hunting and shooting. He is going to be Rose's escort man in the mission. Shu is an IT expert who has cracked Harvester's navigation network. Due to this, Rose and her team can now travel five light years in a single day. Colonel Owens is a former Navy SEAL who is an expert sniper. Alexei ran a counter-strike unit in the Eastern Europe and specializes in target tracking. Trent, Rose's adoptive brother, is the pilot for the mission. Rose is supposed to detach the core drive from Cobalt-1 as she can better understand alien technology than others. The mission starts the following day, with Rose and her team using space alien technology to travel. General Radford and another alien named Violet also accompany them on the spaceship for the mission. Their journey starts, and they reach the targeted galaxy after a day. As soon as they get there, they launch their drone to scan Cobalt-1, but they collide with some ships wandering there and have a narrow escape. They make a crash landing on Cobalt-1, getting the main system of their ship to shut down. Their survival now depends on them finding the Armada core drive, whose power is required now to run their damaged ship. They all leave the ship except for General Radford, Shu, and Violet. 
As they go in search of the core drive, they find the planet to be in complete darkness. They also find several dead harvesters and strange shadow creatures that look like mutations of the harvesters there. These shadow harvesters attack Rose and her team, but Rose gets frozen again when she tries to attack back. This attack causes Alexi to be badly injured. Alexi tells her team to go on without her, and sacrifices herself by using a pulse grenade to terminate the shadow harvesters. Then Leon and Owens confront Rose regarding her being frozen during the attack. Owens tells Rose that Leon's sister was on the ship that got destroyed when she froze and hesitated to destroy the Armada ship five years ago. Owens asks if Rose can still use her powers, but she tells him everything has been off since they arrived on the alien planet, Cobalt-1. Nevertheless, she assures him that she is prepared to fulfill her duties regardless. They continue walking, and after some time, they find the Armada vessel. At this point, more Shadow Harvesters attack them, but Rose instructs them to head towards a beam of light as the Shadow Harvesters can't see through the light. However, as the sun sets, the light starts to fade, and the Shadow Harvesters spot them. Fortunately, a drone controlled by Shu from their ship arrives and draws the attention of the Shadow Harvesters by firing at them. Rose and her team take this chance to enter the Armada vessel and locate the core drive inside. Rose moves forward and tries to detach the core with her alien power, but the core drive falls into the deep and Rose faints. When she gets up again, she finds herself under the Harvester's influence and attacks her team members and jumps down. Owens and Leon decide to leave her and go after the core drive which is their main objective. However, Trent gets angry with them and stops them from leaving Rose behind. He then proceeds to find Rose himself. In the next scene, the Harvester Matriarch tries to possess and convert Rose into a complete alien, but Trent helps Rose get away from the Matriarch's control. Rose learns that the Matriarch's mental control was what made her freeze, and has been causing her problems with her powers ever since. Rose and Trent then fight with the aliens and get the core drive. Then they join their team members Owen and Leon who are waiting for them. When they get to the Armada's vessel entrance, Owen injects Trent with the virus, takes the core from Trent, and tells Leon to leave with him, but Leon stays and fights with Rose against the Harvesters. Owens runs away with the core drive and throws a grenade at the entrance of the Armada vessel blocking Rose, Leon, and Trent from escaping the vessel. Since Trent was injected with the virus by Owens, he couldn't help with the fight against the Harvesters. Rose and Leon then fight and defeat the Harvesters. After the fight, Leon reveals to Rose the truth about the Armada Corps. Apparently, the Corps is a weapon powerful enough to wipe out every pilot on Earth. Rose and Leon then steal an alien-like ship to get away. Rose kept Trent in a separate compartment sack on the alien-like ship as he was becoming unstable because of the virus injected into him earlier. Inside the alien-like ship, they get to a particular place on the planet and find out that General Radford bombed Cobalt-1 with a biological weapon before they got there. The biological weapon is the same virus that is spreading among the pilots on Earth. They connect all the pieces together and discover that General Radford is the one behind the virus affecting pilots on Earth. Owen arrives on the main ship and hands over the Armada Corps to General Radford. The General orders Violet to take the ship to firing altitude. Before they take off, the Harvester Matriarch sneaks aboard the ship. The General then uses the Armada Corps to bomb Cobalt-1 to eliminate all the Harvesters. When Shu was checking on Owens, he learns the truth about the virus, but Owens attacks him. They fight, and Shu manages to lock Owens out. Rose and Leon return to the main ship by anchoring their alien-like ship to it. When Rose and Leon question Radford, he says that the virus was meant to end the harvesters and pilots' lives quietly, but it backfired and made the pilots revert to their basic biology. But thanks to Rose, he can erase that mistake exterminate all the Harvesters and pilots, and save London. He points his weapon to end Rose's life, but Rose releases Trent from the compartment sack behind her, and they all begin to fight each other. During the fight, Rose discovered from Radford that he had terminated her father because they couldn't agree on eliminating all the Harvesters and pilots. Then, the Harvester Matriarch, who sneaked onto the ship, strikes Radford from behind and ends his life. 
the matriarch tells them she will destroy Earth, as they have also destroyed her home. The matriarch then attacks Owens, and he passes out. Rose goes to fight with the matriarch while Leon tries to make Trent stable as the virus is causing Trent to see them as enemies. The ship goes through a wormhole, which causes Owen to fall into an energy field, destroying him. Everyone must hold on to something as the ship is going through the wormhole. The matriarch then wraps her cords around the legs of Leon, Trent, and Rose. And to save his teammate's life, Trent, who is now back to normal, knocks down the matriarch and they both fall into the energy field. This completely disintegrates the matriarch and destroys most of Trent's body. Finally, Rose, with her teammates, are ready to return to Earth safe and sound. Back on Earth, Humans are asked to leave the quarantine area zone. Dr. Mal, Kate, and Grant are still near the quarantine zone. Dr. Mal has a man named Juana with her. Juana has a pilot's hand transplant which is infected with the virus, and she's trying to make a serum that can cure the spreading virus. But time is running out due to the advancing attack in the quarantine zone. Dr. Mal asks Kate and Grant to keep watch for her until morning so she can finish her serum. In the morning, Dr. Mal and Kate are talking outside when a pilot that has reverted back to his basic biology attacks them. Grant tries to terminate the pilot, but the pilot terminates him. Dr. Mal attempts to use her serum on the pilot, but it doesn't work. Kate then opens fire on the pilot and it dies. Realizing the serum didn't cure the pilot, Kate and Dr. Mal run and hide. More pilots show up where Dr. Mal and Kate are, and while trying to run for their life, the pilots surround them. To their surprise, Huana comes to their defense and attacks the pilots. This shows that the serum cured Huana. Kate and Dr. Mal run to the tent to get more ammunition to defend themselves, and they come out and start to open fire on the pilots with Huana also helping in the fight. As they're fighting, they see an army of pilots coming to attack them, but Rose returns just in time and takes all the pilots aboard her ship. She then tells Dr. Mal that with her serum and her ship, they can now cure all of the sick pilots around the world. Three weeks later, Dr. Mal saves Trent by putting his head into a new pilot body. Shu gets into Radford's personal files and finds the site of a prison where Radford held people he thought were enemies of the state, like Mark Corley, who is Rose and Trent's long-lost father. Rose sets a course for the prison because she wants to free her adoptive father. And here, the movie ends. And that'll be all for today's recap. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.